They gonna love me for my ambition. And earlier you kind of alluded to like, you know, the OVO, Pop Can connection. You know, Drake is someone that definitely has shown love to everyone when it comes to up and coming acts in the in the actual industry. Sometimes, unfortunately, there's been cases where artists pass away and then people find out like, yo, Drake was tapping in with them. Like he's very early to a lot of people without him sometimes even posting it. Has mm. he ever tapped in with you directly or shown love to you directly? Um, eh, yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, it's hard to explain. Like he... Uh, like when we were at, we was at the we was at a couple of spots yeah where I like seen him and it was like you know what I'm saying acknowledge me you know what's going on type shit but yeah. it wasn't like he hit me like that he did it like a corporate way cause the OVO camp serious they like I guess Drake was in like a rollout for something else for, okay. like for like his other music or whatever so he didn't get on the Gallus remix but we got Popcorn yeah at the OVO camp which is OD so I wasn't mad at that and it but, also the Jamaican connection Correct. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. But so that was a potential, you know, case, Drake on the Gallus remix. From yeah, your man. from your end, would you that's what you kind of wanted, or was it like no, a, I, got, I mean, I can't even I don't even want to disrespect the fact I got a pop converse. So yeah, 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 yeah. Man. yeah, yeah. But it was just, you know what I'm saying? It was in talks, it was in works. It was in works, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's that would have been crazy too. I, I would have loved that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, because he's already done that that vibe so many times. I feel like he would have done that extremely well, but Bob I mean, can't Bob can't killed it. It's Chris Brown and popcorn. Yeah. Like it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, dude. what more do you want? Yeah, can't get too greedy. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. That's Just true. the popcorn verse by itself, it would have been like, damn. Nigga Capella's wildin'. He got it. <laughs> if I just had Chris Brown by itself, it would have been, damn. The nigga, nigga Capella's wildin'. <laughs> I got both of them. Yeah, and you never did a video with for that remix, right? No. Nope. We just went number one. Whatever. Yeah. Did you ever want to try to uh, get a remix board? Or did you know, like, obviously, it's like a harder task to get such artists, you know, especially global, you know, get them together in the same time, the timing of it, or was it like to do a video? It? Yeah. No, nah, I just really didn't. I didn't. I didn't push it as much. I didn't, not that I. I just didn't. At that time, I was just so excited about. it. I wasn't even. Not that I wasn't thinking about it, but I just. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, yo, bro, we got this song, bro. We out, bro. I was moving around. <laughs> I was like, it's lit. <laughs> but we never got a performance together. Nothing. Damn, mm -hmm. oh, it might happen though. I, it, yeah, it's still, for sure. It's still Chris time. Brown, shout out to Chris Brown. He keeps performing Gallus. That's mad beautiful. Yo, and all his, I've seen it at all the concerts, the, the breezy pages yeah, posting it. Yeah, Rolling Loud, all that. He's you know, I love you it. Know, it's one of joint. his top streaming songs in the past uh, recent years. So why not? You yeah, know? you know. <laughs> and now moving on to like the idea of R and B artists. What is, in your opinion, if you have any, you know, top three R and B artists of all time? It could, it could be R and B artists. Yeah, R and B artists. They go me for my ambition.